This remote control design is from working with some students on the Sea Perch ROV project. And over here in this bin here are some of the things that I used to do some of the experimentation on it. Um, I figured out that you could make a little switch and I had some copper tape at the time so I found this was a pretty good thing to experiment with and I also had a laser cutter and so I laser cut a bunch of parts and put them together and tried the distances and tried to see what I could do with it. This is what I came up with and what this one does is it controls three different motors so this would be the left side of the vehicle, the right side of the vehicle, this would be up and down. And to test it, what I did was I set it up with two LEDs on each one so that each LED was backwards of each other. So this one would be pushing up, this one would be pushing down, this is pushing forward on the left, forward, uh, reverse on the left, and forward on the right, and backward on the right. And so this one worked out pretty good. Um, the design for it worked out nice. It was based around these uh, screws that I had a lot of from having some MakerBots. And then when I went to make a lot of these, I discovered that I didn't have enough of these screws. So I redesigned it slightly so that it would be able to be made with regular number six machine screws. And this here is a version of it. It's not wired up, but the laser cut parts, there are three laser cut parts. There's the outline of the whole shape and it has holes um, at each of the um, places where the screws are. And then there's a little square, which is equivalent to this. And then there's a longer piece, which is about like this. And to put it together, really you just need a few things. You need a pair of scissors, screwdriver, pen, a pen to poke out the, the um, points, and instead of copper tape, this is aluminum tape that you get in the HVAC section of a hardware store. And so this is um, conductive tape that has adhesive on the back, and this part here is aluminum tape. It works out pretty nice. These I discovered to make them fit on these, these are an inch wide. Um, to make them fit on these, I cut this tape into quarters, quarter thicknesses, and the length of this. It worked out pretty nice. It's definitely a more attractive remote control clicker than this one here, uh, which was done with a bandsaw and kind of a little quick and a little bit um, not the uh, greatest of craftsmanship. Underneath, we use screw, screw terminal switches. And um, another one, this is more close to the design that's in how to build your own underwater robot. Um, and this one here has crossover jumpers on each of the switches. Power goes to the center and the motor comes off the end. And um, I think this design works pretty nicely. Uh, as a demonstration model, it's worked out pretty good. It also worked pretty good on the underwater vehicles. Underneath, you can see we basically cut out the center part here. This is a little three volt um, battery pack that's just kind of soldered into, uh, Velcroed into place. I, it was a little bit um, irregularly behaving, so I just kind of soldered some of the connections so that they'd uh, work a little bit better. And uh, so if you push, you have a crossover here, crossover here, power to the center, 
and then a motor or LEDs to the ends.